Say it with me, fellas. It is free full AKA day in Madden 24, but wait, there's a glitch. Now, so, so, so family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your Monday. Hope you got to see the solar eclipse. Me personally, this is all I saw, but I saw some photos and it looked pretty cool. Now let's talk about said free, AKA cruise player in this video. Go over some tips and tricks you gotta know as well as talk about a glitch and a potential fix. Now, like I talked about yesterday, I'm not gonna go in depth into this because I'm assuming you watching this watch every single one of my videos. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. But if you wanna get a free full AKA player, go to the AKA crew solos and you need to play through almost every single solo i played through 89 out of 90 that was enough to go through and get all the way down to tier number 29 which gives you the final free aka cruise token that you need now again once you get the packs you open them up that gives you aka cruise tokens and then with those aka cruise tokens you're going to your sets and you're going through to complete the full free champion player i had a couple people in my dms asking me if you should do the hero set no that hero set is not going to give you the player you want it's going to give you like a 95 five overall card if you want the full free 98 go to the bnd aka cruise champion token exchange and throw them bad boy tokens into there or bad girl tokens we'll say okay what am i talking about that's a weird thing to say of course when you play through your solos you can knock this set out but let's talk about the glitch as well as the player you should pick as well as a tip you should know with regards to the set now first things first i've been getting absolutely bombarded with comments just like the one you see on the screen which basically says that for some reason your tokens aren't going into the set and they're locked in your binder now if you're in that situation which I've probably seen about 150 people comment and say they are in that situation. This is a glitch from EA Sports. And the first thing you can maybe do to fix it that I just want to alert you to is make sure you go to your token and don't have this lock turned on. As you guys can see, there's a lock in the bottom left corner of this token and it can't go in sets. But if you click X and you click unlock, that might allow it to work. So just try that. But I think for most people that were leaving that comment, they've already taken a look at that and it's not locked. It's just not allowing the tokens to go into sets. So if you're in a situation where your token can't go into sets. EA needs to fix this. That's kind of why I'm making this video. I feel like EA or at least someone at EA does watch a lot of them out in YouTube videos. So I want to alert them to that because again, it's kind of brutal. If you play through the solos, you're supposed to get a full free player and then you can't because you can't put the tokens into the set. That's brutal. And if you're in that situation, I would strongly suggest you don't go through and like cave and be like, okay, you know what? I guess it's not going to work. I'll pick the hero player. No, I'd be patient. I think EA Sports better have that fixed within a week. If it takes them more than a week, that's going to be brutal, man. But I did just want to talk about that at the start of this one. Again, the fix could be clicking lock slash unlock, but I don't think that's going to work for most people. If you're in a situation where your token's not going in the set, all you got to do is be patient, but at least they know this is happening and you're not alone. A lot of people are having this issue. All right, number two, let's talk about what I'm personally doing, which is actually not going through and opening this pack up today. Now, you might be wondering, Swift, why are you not claiming the set? Why are you not going through and opening this pack up today? Well, boys, on the screen right here, it does not say final in the top right corner of the content schedule for AKA Cruise. Typically, when it's the last release for a certain promo or the last release for something like AKA Cruise, there'll be something that says final in the top right corner or the top left corner of the program's image on the content schedule. But of course, we didn't see anything about that, meaning there's gonna be another release of AKA Cruise. And boys, with the next release of AKA Cruise, I'm almost guaranteeing you, we're gonna be getting 99 overall players by then. If we take a look at the other programs in Madden 24, it looks like we got two to three weeks of every single AKA Cruise release in Madden and we've already gotten three releases. I don't remember the last time there were four releases for one overall. If we take a look at this right here, as you guys can see, there were only two releases of 97s. There were three releases of 96, two releases of 95s, and then three releases of 94. So they have yet to do more than three releases for a single overall. We just got release number three today. I'm expecting gold 99s the next time and I'm going to pick one because you know what? Why not wait? I think these 98s are good, but they're not great. Now, if you are planning on making your pick today, which isn't a bad idea, it's just not what I'm doing. I don't think it's a bad idea though, but if you are planning on making your pick today, let's just quickly talk about who you should be picking, who you should be considering. Now, to me personally, there's like four pretty solid cards to consider. I'd say Travis Kelsey is absolutely one of them. I do think there's some other solid tight ends you can pick up that are better and easier to obtain. Like Luke Musgrave, as an example, is selling for about the exact same amount of coins and he's got better stats than Travis Kelsey. Me personally, I prefer that card. I will say Almond Ross St. Brown, very, very solid player, 98 speed, 
and like 97 to 98 for every single other important stat on this card. This guy's actually good. He's probably the number one option to be. Now, past that, Peyton Manning is a pretty solid pick as well. The card's actually really, really good, but I'm not usually a huge fan of taking a BND quarterback in this game. Of course, he's got awesome stats. He gets awesome abilities. He can get boosted up in speed if you spend some coins on him. But again, not a huge fan of taking a BND quarterback. Now, past that, of course, there's other 98 overall options in Kirk Cousins and Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan, I've actually seen as a somewhat popular player. He's got good stats, bro. 94 speed, 95 excel. I'm a Saints fan, as you guys can see. That man should not have 94 speed. He's getting a little bit old. He's got good power move. Finesse move isn't great. Block shed is solid. Cam Jordan, he's a good player. He's a card to consider. So to me personally, I would say your top two, if you're planning on making your pick today, are number one, Amon Ross St. Brown. Number two, Cameron Jordan. Past that, if you want to make a pick, you can. But if you're in a situation where you're like, you know what? I don't love those two cards. I don't necessarily think either of them are going to be impact players on my team. Hold the pack. Why not? That's what I'm doing. And I'm expecting 99 overalls coming very soon. Now, another thing I want to mention, and I usually don't talk about this on the channel, but I think this is the best one coin pack I've seen in a minute. So I just want to alert you guys to this. 289 plus BNDs is very, very good for one coin. I feel like usually they go through and have like gold plus player packs, but this is actually a pretty good pack. So I just want to mention this at the end of the video right here. Typically with these one coin packs, I'll never mention them because I'm assuming most of you guys know about them, but 289 pluses is worth a mention. We got a 92 Namdi Awesome on a start for 3.3K training. That's actually not bad right there. That's a solid bit of training we're going to pick up. And again, you can get lucky. You can pull a full player, which is awesome. Or even like a 95 could play for you. And pack number two, let's open this bad boy up as well and see what we can do. Give me a full play at EA Sports. It's not going to be a full player, but let's see who it's going to be. It's an 89 Rob Gronkowski. Free training, though, not bad. And also just want to mention, we did get some more stuff from the VIP program today from EA Sports. If you don't know what the VIP program is, it's kind of like this invite only membership club where EA Sports gives you free rewards, but I'm not going to lie. You're not missing out on a whole ton. I believe today's was a free 92 plus overall reels pack. So like good, but not amazing. Not as good as my rewards in my personal opinion. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of like the Amazon Prime gaming stuff from back in the day. Amazon Prime gaming packs used to be solid a couple Maddens ago. And they were like these like one card, usually like 90 plus packs. So that's what we got today. If you log on and you're in the VIP program, expect that and just sell off the card for free coins. If not, again, you're not missing out on a ton. Me personally, I'm not in it and I don't feel any FOMO whatsoever. So yeah, boys, that is going to do it for me. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, be sure to scroll down and drop a like with the picks we made over on Underdog Fantasy on stream yesterday. We hit. So if you copied those picks and read my live stream yesterday, congratulations on the win. And boys, there is the NCAA March Madness Finals tonight. So my picks will be posted over on Twitter and I'll post them over on my YouTube community tab. I'm expecting Underdog is going to run at least one special on that game. Pretty excited. I feel like I've been keeping up to date with March Madness this year more than ever before because I actually got to go to a couple of games courtesy of Underdog Fantasy, the common theme on the channel, the absolute legends. If you want to check out Underdog, you want to make some picks, I'm going to leave it linked down below in the description. Use the promo code SWIFT as you're signing up. That will get you one guaranteed special and they might do some more specials for the game today. So if you want to check it out, it's linked in the description. Use the promo code SWIFT and until next time, love y'all. Have a wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.